Hello, my name is Jackie Blondin and I am a ceramic artist. I am about to start my kiln. I have an even heat kiln and it is a, has a kiln sitter. So for a kiln, kiln sitter, you have to use these little pyrometric bars. I fire my bisque ware to 04. So I'm going to be placing it in and inside there is a little uh, triangle thing that you have to push up. You raise, you, you click it, you push that down you just slide it into the hole so it's ready to go and I'm going to be firing a bunch of mugs that I've made so here they are and prior to doing that I check the height so here is one of them right now beside one of the stilts just to make sure that they're gonna fit just gonna quickly show you how to set up your kiln sitter so on the outside you lift the flap and you push this part up. I'll have to show you on the other side what that looks like. But for now, uh, that's set up and ready to go. And now I'm gonna start loading the kiln. You wanna be super careful with your pieces that you don't hit them, as this is the most brittle stage. Make sure there's clearance right here for the shelf so it doesn't touch the thermocouple. I'm about to start my kiln and I just want to touch uh, base on a few things. So the kiln that I have is an even heat. It's completely manual except it does use electricity. One of the things that you have to set up are the parametric bars on the inside of the kiln sitter. And this is the little part that goes up and down, uh, that flips down and turns it off, but this is the little part inside that's holding the bar. Here is an example of the bar before it goes in. And when the firing has been finished, the, and we, well, when the temperature reaches the right height, the bar slumps and then it turns the switch off because it changes shape it comes out and flips this off so it's a safety safety switch so i'm about to start it so on this kiln the off side is on the right hand the right hand side so all the switches have to be in the off position you then when you're doing a bisque firing which is what i'm doing you want to have your kiln lid peeped open now this is stressful on the kiln, I'm gonna do this right now just so it's even on the back hinge. The other thing you wanna do when you're doing a bisque fire is open up the peepholes so they're ready to go. Then the other thing that you wanna have set up is your other backup. So I like to make sure that I give a good 10 hours for this. Um, so it's in the off position and the little bar. I'm gonna do 10 hours. It doesn't take that long to do this firing, but I'm gonna go there. And then on this one, you turn on the first switch down at the bottom. And every two hours, you come back and you raise up the temperature. So now I'm ready to go. So I have to just touch the button and then it starts up. And I'm going to start the downdraft fan that I have as well. It's going to get loud. And then I'll set my phone to go off in two hours and I'll come back and raise it up. So two hours have gone by and I am ready for the next step. So even though it's not that hot, you can feel heat coming out of here and I'm not going to touch it with my bare hands. So I am using my uh, son's welding gloves. So I'm just going to stick my finger in there and carefully remove the two bars that were holding up my lid. And I'm also going to close one of the peepholes. I close the lower one. And now I am ready to move on to the next step. So stage one was turn on the lower button. Next one is that one. And now it's ready to go again and I come back in two hours. All right. Okay, another two hours has gone by and I'm ready to do the third switch. So now three switches are running. So in two more hours, I'll come back. Another two hours has gone by and I'm ready to 
turn up the final switch. So now that's on, and just so you can see, it's been on for four hours. And this last part does not take that long, really, to reach up to the full temperature. Um, I think it should be fine. And if it's not, I will know in the morning if this has gone to zero and this has not fallen, then I'll know that I messed up. <laughs> but I think it'll be fine. I've done this before. Should work out. And it's pretty hot. I wouldn't touch it, but... Uh, still pretty hot. I don't know if you can see down inside there, the glow. There you go. So it's 10.30 a.m. Uh, the next day. The kiln is completely cooled. Uh, the switch flicked off at the right time, or at the right temperature, and I have three hours left to spare, so it took seven hours to do this firing. So I'm going to Turn off the fan, things get a little bit uh, calmer, and I'm going to open it up in a second. So I'm about to open the kiln, and you get to see the first peak. Good, everything worked out as I had planned. So before I do anything, I'm going to carefully take out these stilts, making sure I don't drop them. Because I share my garage, I put everything back in 